Hello there internet and welcome back to this let's play of Spelunky. Today we'll be doing another ordinary challenge run. Or challenge run. Um, like an ordinary challenge. Also that was not a skeleton either. I'm beginning to think that there's also always something next to the door but it's very rarely a skeleton. Just for those of you who remember me talking about that in the last episode. So yeah. Otherwise, what do we have going for us today? Hmm. Good question. So last time we tried very hard to get to the Black Knight. Or we got to the Black Knight. We also tried... Oh, that was stupid. I could easily have gotten that ruby. Um, we also got to the Black Knight. And it turned out that the Black Knight was too suicidal for us to actually add him to the journal. Which was extremely unfortunate. So remember, I still really only need to add two enemies to the journal, namely the Black Knight and um, the Yeti King. The Yeti King is probably going to be the most, the hardest one of those two. And I might want to do some other sort of runs, some other challenges in between where he can kind of come in as a side bonus, I'm not sure. For now, I just enjoy and doing ordinary challenges here, ordinary runs. So hopefully you feel the same. I want to take this very slowly. You never really know where there's bats or spiders in these dark levels. <clears throat> there's one bat, that's for sure. That was probably really stupid. Whew. It's kind of exciting actually. But unlike last run, now we can actually enjoy the music of the dark levels. This has already fired, right? Yeah. Has this fired? Nope, now it has though. So. Uh, that's scary, I don't want to go there at all. Let's just get rid of that, and this shopkeeper is extremely dead. So I think what you really should do when you do this is, first of all, grab the shopkeeper, throw him towards the back of the room, and so as to make him stun just a little bit longer. But <laughs> the last couple of times I've done that, I've completely forgotten about that strategy, and so just murdered him straight away. Which seems to work just as well, so... Um, why not just simply do that instead? Now we have extremely many bombs, uh, which is of course always wonderful. And something you want to be aiming for. We also get a decent amount of gold in this level. I haven't seen very many scarabs around. Um, and we also get paste, it seems. And how do we get paste? Yeah, do I want to... I think I want to to go this way. I think that's gonna make it easier. Ooh, not quite the way I wanted to do it, but it worked just as well as well, so <clears throat> now all we do is get Monty and go back and grab the shotgun. And we should be on to the next level. Guess I might as well bring this as well just in case I come across something that's dangerous over here. For example, a ghost. Paste and fortified bombs, wonderful. Some, oh yeah, I was still wor wondering there for a second if it, it actually does get darker and darker in the dark levels as the level proceeds. I can't really figure out if that's indeed the case or not. Maybe someone else can tell. Hmm. Alright, so um, we're off to a pretty good start here, that's for sure. Let's see if we can make something continue make that continue I guess. We'll probably make something continue. Uh, namely these runs ending prematurely. All we want to do is get out of the mines. It really shouldn't be so difficult. I've done it so many times already. 
just get that extra gold there. Of course, we also want to look out for the uh, Ujidai. Because it wasn't on the last level, so it's probably on one of these ones. And that's just always an extra stress factor when you're trying to also deal with shopkeepers and that kind of stuff. And Monsies, for that matter. Uh, okay, so the Ujidai is going to be on this level. Which is good and bad. It's, um... How do I do this? Like this. I don't think there's any way around that. It's, um... Good, because... I'm not sure, actually. I'm pretty sure I was thinking about something at some point <laughs> where... Where uh, that line of thought kind of passed in. But now I'm not so sure anymore. Hmm. How the hell do I deal with this? Do I want to approach him from the top? I mean, I sort of don't want to spend too many ropes, but... I think that's what I have to do. Wow. That's not the way I wanted that to go. Let's just get up here. Um, my strategy of trying not to worry about these kind of things until I really need to is gonna come in handy here. Alright, so we'll be able to get Monty... Ah, oh, I didn't want to pick him up. Um, God damn it, Monty. Okay, so there's a terrible chill. Alright, so I think I need to be more aggressive here. There we go. If that wasn't aggressive, then I don't know what aggressive is. And uh, this is not good. There we go. This is extremely scary, actually. Um, I need to make another run for it. Ah, shit, I'm dead. Ah. God damn it. That was so stupid. I could have easily avoided the curse. I should have just gone further to the left. Hmm, that's unfortunate. But you know, those are the situations where your Spelunky skills really come to a test. Where you need to think very quickly in order to make successful stuff happen. As always, unfortunate, we had some good stuff happening. But yeah. It just simply was not meant to be. So let's see if instead we can make something happen on this run. And I guess this is the point of, it, of the video where I usually say like, we just need to get to the jungle, then everything's good. Then at least we made something happen. Um, but hopefully at some point my skills in Spelunky will have evolved past that point. And um, yeah. <laughs> and essentially I'm just good. Well, I'll just have to suck less, I guess. Okay, so this shop is horrible. There's absolutely nothing in it that I want. So I'm just not gonna bother. I mean, the mystery box is probably a jetpack or something like that, which was, would be wonderful. Um, but in reality, it's... if I, I mean, it's a jetpack if I don't rob the shop. And if I do rob the shop, it's probably a parachute. Okay, so we have the um, key up here. That's bad. Because, how am I gonna get up there? Alright. Not like that, that's for sure. Also not like that. Also not like that. Like that. Alright, so that was a complete waste of bombs, but... Um, I'm not sure how else I should have done that without going through the shopkeeper. Which might have been the better uh, the better choice, I don't know. Hopefully the chest is gonna be easier to find. That was also extremely stupid. Yeah, the chest is right there, so that's something. Let's get Monty with us. Hmm. 
Hmm. Are you safe if I drop you down? You seem to be. And I'm probably going to have to use you as bait in just a second. I don't think you took damage yet, did you? Hmm. Maybe you did. So let's just do it like this instead. Um. Yeah, we need to get some bombs because otherwise this simply isn't happening. We can't go to the black market without bombs. We can't really do anything without bombs. And there's another dark level. That's surprising. And the shopkeeper is um, dead. And so am I. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even say what went wrong there. I think just simply everything went wrong. Okay, now I need to focus. I think maybe that's what this run is lacking so far. Focus. Hocus pocus. Um, can we get up to our dog? Indeed we can. So let's just do that. <clears throat> That's a pretty far drop. I think he should be able to make it. I'm not so sure about us. Yeah, we just did like that. Apparently there's a skeleton there. I haven't seen that at all. First floor is always easy, you know. There's nothing to really worry about. Um, no spikes. No angry shopkeepers, nothing like that at all. <clears throat> Bombs, good. And I need to use a rope. Could I have avoided using a rope there? I'm not sure. Maybe. And more bombs, what a wonderful start. Pl plenty of gold as well, actually. So let's see if we can make it past one two this time. Oh, an altar. That's actually very nice. I haven't seen one of those for quite a while. Okay, and we have the Ujada on this level as well. In the snake pit. So I'm so guessing that Monty is probably also going to be in the snake pit, um, which means that he should be an easy sacrifice. Hopefully. Let's see. He's actually not. He's down there. So let's go down there first because... I want to make sure that I do that. Right now I have plenty of bombs, so that's not really a problem. And... Shop has pretty good stuff as well. Alright, so we get paste in the, in the sacrifice. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, we need to get paste at some point anyway, so... Usually we can get it for free, but if that's not the case, then this is a good alternative. Definitely better than, say, a parachute or something like that. I just generally think the parachute is, is pretty damn worthless. So let's get a medic, and um, let's try and see if we can make it into this shop. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that, though. Yeah, it's gonna cost a couple of ropes, um, but he has ropes, right? So maybe that's not necessarily a problem. And since we're probably gonna bring a shotgun with us to the next floor, let's just mine all of this stuff first. I guess I could also do something about this vault down here when I come to that point. Fennus. <sighs> okay, so I threw the shopkeeper, but I threw him incorrectly. 
this is going so bad. I, I, I need to apologize to everybody watching because uh, this is almost just embarrassing. Wow, that's a lot of crates. And again, another run that was going so, so well. Lots of good stuff happening. We had a sacrifice going on. We had tons of... Well, we didn't have tons of bombs, but we had plenty of bombs. So... Hmm. Not much to do about that, though. Except try to learn from one's mistakes, which is not going very well so far. So there's a parachute. And I'm guessing the two others are probably parachutes as well. No, ropes. And a machete. Which could come in handy for killing shopkeepers now when... Apparently, I'm incapable of doing it otherwise. That could have easily hit me. So let's go up and get, grab this thing here. Grab Monty, get him to the exit, which should be pretty close by. Indeed it is. And... We should be able to get this crate as well. Bomb's good. There's a spider. It's gonna be dead pretty soon. I guess I might as well check out the rest of the level as well. So, I have a very bad habit of saying as well as well. I'm not sure, sure how to get rid of that. Um, so, anyway, one thing that the machete is good for is cutting spider webs. Another thing that the machete is hopefully good for is killing shopkeepers. What do you have? Um, he has spike shoes. That's the only really good thing. That I mean, he's gonna die anyway, just because. Yeah, just because. Actually, that's that's gonna be my argument. So once again, we have a an Ujet eye. Uh, in front of us somewhere, I guess. So we want to make sure that we go through every corner of this level. <clears throat> so now we need to go escort mission on this, bring down all of this stuff. This is one of the situations where I'm thinking Monty has, has to set and like survive on his own. I don't have time to make sure that he gets safely to the bottom. Which is a horrible thing to say. In particular, when I see the, uh, the spikes right there that he could have easily fallen onto. So... There's our chest. And it looks like getting to the bottom of the level is gonna be easy in general, so... That is, of course, good. Let's just throw now that we can throw stuff. min-maxing as far as um, time usage is concerned. <clears throat> Alright, so far so good. There was a wall in this level as well, right? No? What did I see then? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I saw a spider, that's what I was thinking about. Um, I'm not gonna bother. Hopefully there's gonna be paste available somewhere on one of the future levels instead. Alright, so here's another shop with climbing gloves. Climbing gloves are good. Sh angry shopkeeper is not necessarily as good. So, how do we want to deal with this guy? Like this, I think. Um, I was hoping that would make a hole that he could fall down into. But maybe if I just get on level with him, he falls down to, into this hole naturally. Or... Or he doesn't. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to happen. So remember that when you're on the same level as a shopkeeper, he tends to not really jump as high. So Monty, I would of course like to get as well. But I don't really see that happening. 
I guess we could use the teleporter for once and uh, check out what's on this side of the level. Oh, now I definitely want to get Monty. But that's gonna cost a number of bombs, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably not worth the trouble. Um, okay. <laughs> so that's why you don't use the teleporter normally. Oh. <laughs> I, th I thought I had done the math, but yeah. I guess it has like a four wide um, range that it can teleport you into. And I was trying to get into a three wide range uh, hole. So <laughs> that was simply just not gonna happen. I think that's gonna do it for this episode, uh, which by my own metric is a failure because I didn't make it out of mines. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it anyway. And um, if you did, don't hesitate to throw a like or a comment of what you liked or, or what you did not like if, if you didn't like something. Um, also, if you want to catch future episodes, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Although I'm guessing if you're watching this episode, you probably already have done so. And uh, in other case, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you some other time. <coughs>